My friend once asked me what my motivation was for starting my business. I'm here to change people's lives for the better through food and love. I know it's hard to believe I was 247 pounds. It's even hard for me to believe, but I was so swollen with toxic waste in my body. It literally um, just blew me up like the blueberry lady. And uh, even when I got rid of some of the toxicity, I still had residual weight. And I got it to a, like, a manageable degree, um, but I was still on medications. And when I finally got rid of the medicine and started clearing out some of the foods that were weighing me down, um, it, was, it was not until then that my body completely cleaned out of toxic waste. I'm Diana Stobo, and this is my story. You know, as a child, I loved food. My family was centered around the kitchen. It became so apparent to me that food was my emotional crutch. When things seemed to be sad or missing, um, I wanted to eat. And I even found that sometimes when I was depressed, I wouldn't eat at all. So I was in constant flux around food. And by the time I was um, in my early teens, I had become quite a chubby child. And it really affected my self-esteem. I mean, I always had that dream of being, you know, the tall, thin girl. But, you know, I was struggling for a while to stay in a normal size range that seemed acceptable. It was a challenge. So after I was married, I tried to get pregnant several times and I had to do in vitro fertilization in order to give birth to my babies. Through all that toxic um, synthetic hormones, my body just expanded to enormous toxicity. And actually when I gave birth to my twins, they called it toxemia, a very appropriate name for a toxic overload. Since my upbringing was so spectacularly surrounded around food, food was an integral part of our life as well. The children and I celebrated around food. We always had parties, made sure that there were barbecues on the weekend, and it became our existence. Um, I got so used to being bigger that I just started telling everybody I was big boned. This is just the way I am. I'm a very tall person and uh, this is the way I'm gonna be. I was getting settled and comforted at the ripe old age <laughs> of 35. I had thyroid issues. I had um, what they call chronic fatigue syndrome. So I was completely unaware that the medications I was taking was also influencing the toxic environment of my body. It seemed like there was a name for everything that ailed me, but nobody had the cure. Until one day, I went to the hospital and I had a bleeding ulcer that led me directly to the emergency room. I left that hospital with another bottle of pills. This is the pivotal moment of my life. I knew something had to change. I immediately went to the library, picked out books, learned about nutrition, immersed myself in how I can cure my own disease. So I threw the medicine away and I began to look at food as my medicine. I focused on the nutritional value of the foods I was eating and came up with a list of toxic foods that I immediately had to take out of my body. I posted this list prominently on the front of my refrigerator and every time I went to go reach for food, I looked at that list to make sure that none of the foods I was eating had anything to do with this list. And it was amazing at the change that occurred. My life was transforming before my eyes. Within 10 days, I dropped 10 pounds. I was waking up in the morning, bright eyed, ready for the day. My thyroid medication that I had thrown away was replaced with a plant-based thyrosine People were noticing a difference immediately. Wow, what's changed about you? You look lighter, you look happier, you seem calmer. And it was true, I had found my passion. I loved feeling good. Eventually, I got to this place where I started writing recipes down, I started blogging about things, I videotaped a lot of what I was doing. I started to write my story. I really loved helping people. I took such great pride in their transformation and it was the next big aha. It came to me. I can actually help people transform their lives one meal at a time. And this is exactly how Get Naked Fast started. It was me and my story and being able to put it in a, a guide to stripping away the foods that weigh you down, a pamphlet that people can go through and say, I can do this too. I never thought in a million years I would be getting naked in front of a camera and taking a photo to be on the cover of my own book. And I did it and I felt great doing it. To all you out there who don't think that you can make that change towards better health, towards feeling better about yourself every single day, I'm here to tell you that you can do it one meal at a time.